with some of us at the city. You know, it's clear that this towering silos at the end of Washington Street or their image evoke powerful and significant memories to many people both here and across the country. You most certainly have been hurt. You said now it's 881. 881. Last check, yeah. On the yeah. petition, online petition, yeah. So, what now? Well, I hope you'll forgive a little background, set the record straight, before I talk about what I think could be next. A little over a year ago, representatives of Riverland Agriculture requested a meeting with the City's Committee of the Whole because they were in the process of negotiating the purchase of the granary, granary excuse me, and malting facility from Anheuser-Busch in Beth. This meeting was in closed session as the two companies were still negotiating the final purchase. The focus of the meeting was what would the City expect from our new owners? It was centered on an acceptable assurance of the use of the parking lot that's across the river, that, or that's along the river, and uh, our terms for their use of the underground grain tunnel. Less crucial but appropriate was the expectation to remove the Budweiser advertisement from the towers. Riverland asked for a year to complete this as they were unsure of what they would find behind the bottle banners. They were given a year to bring the silos into compliance. While the initial meeting was in closed session, every final action and every agreement has been in open session with public documents publicly acted on. Despite claims or concerns to the contrary, there was nothing furtive nor deceptive about the process that the city followed. But in spite of this, or perhaps because of the surprise at the pace at which this work was suddenly started on last week and scheduled to be finished, people seem to be casting about for someone to blame. So I'm happy to provide you with some choices here. You could blame Anheuser-Busch for selling out to InBev. You could blame InBev for phasing out the facility in a global marketplace. You could blame Riverland for waiting so long to get started on this project. You could blame the HTR for not considering the removal to be important enough to make it newsworthy. You could blame me. I haven't checked with her, but I'm sure you could also blame sure. Alderwoman Hennessy <laughs> and the rest of the council and the mayor because, frankly, we did that. Okay? And, you know, we can all blame ourselves because sometimes we don't know everything that's going on. Or we could set aside all the suspicions and the accusations and the name calling, none of which really helps you guys advance what I'm sure is your real goal, and work from the situation that we have now. If you sincerely want, if you sincerely want to preserve what's painted on these silos, then you need actions that are going to be more substantive than just tonight's vigil. Telling the city that you don't want to see this vanish is all well and good, but this isn't the city's property, so it isn't the city's role to take the first step. You should be asking Riverland to work with you in preservation efforts. As property owners, they can request a waiver or exemption from the code together with Riverland. If you do that, you will need to explain some things. Why is this mural important enough to be accepted and preserved? Who and how is the how and with who is the preservation going to take place? How will the maintenance be guaranteed? And where will the funds for all this come from? You've seen what's gone on in the city for the last two years. And you know that, frankly, we worry about where the money for stuff is going to come from because we're rubbing nickels together like mad. Now, while I can only speak in total confidence from my own position, I'm certain that the majority of the council would be completely in support of allowing some time for this to be addressed comprehensively. We have always erred on the side of more time on issues rather than less. Even then, there are issues behind the single, beyond the single mural which the council will need to weigh in their deliberations, but they will be public deliberations. I know that many of you are anxious this evening, and I know for many of you this is a new and perhaps vexing possibility. For those of us who have known about it for almost a year and a half, we're surprised by how surprised you are. Things can be changed, so I encourage you to start working with Riverland tomorrow tomorrow morning. Maybe you might even want to contact Anheuser-Busch InBev. Making over a billion dollars last year, they might want to preserve some of their history too. And I thank you all for coming, and we're happy well, to take your questions.